Hi guys, Hi. Steph here. Right, another gorgeous pen for you this morning. Can you guess what it is? Of course you can. What we've got is a lovely Anotto the pen. Now very briefly I'm going to try and keep this short because I've shown you this pen before. Uh, the only reason I'm showing you this pen again is it's a customer's that came to me for a service. It had a number of issues. Um, obviously it wasn't working. What we've done, um, one of the, well the pin to the blind cap was missing. We've replaced the plunger washer inside. We've put brand new cork washers inside the pen. Obviously what we've done, we've totally disassembled the pen, cleaned everything, ultrasonically cleaned, given the pen a lovely polish. Let's show you the the barrel imprint there, nice and clear, and also the pen, Delarue and Company Limited, London. So it's a 5601-28. Now again, um, it's, it's a customer's, it's going back to days, so I'm not going to ink it. As I say, I've shown you this one, this one before, I'd just like to show you the, the after. After we've serviced it, you can see it's got this lovely engine turn pattern. Gold filled trim, a small gold filled cap band to the bottom of the cap there. The recognisable ball clip from the Anottos and then to the to the top of the clip there you can see it's got a little symbol with a TDR which means Thomas Delarue. To the top we've got this black cap and as I say to the bottom we've got this black blind cap. Incidentally what I'll do, let's show you, hopefully you can see, we've got a barrel imprint to the bottom which says 5601 and if I turn it round somewhere it will tell us it's the number 28. So I'm hoping you can see that. So as I say when it came to me the, the pin in the pin, sorry the pin down at the bottom was missing, we've replaced it, we've put a new pin in there obviously after we've uh, We've serviced the pen. If I actually unscrew the pen for you, or the cap, give you a little bit of a twirl. Uh, this one came to me, it was, it was okay, we've just absolutely just cleaned it. Um, one of the problems that we had with this pen, as with all these pens, if I show you the, the cap to the top there and the, the blind cap, and again to the left there you can see before, um, what actually happens with these, they do discolour badly, so what I've done, I've actually polished it to try and get it as black as possible. As you can see there, and it's come out quite nicely, so that's before and afterwards. Also with these pens, the same thing happens with the section that was discoloured, and again you can see we've polished some of the discoloration out, and it's nice and black. Let's show you the nib. It's got a nice Anotto, um, well no, it's actually a Delarue Anotto 14 karat London 3ST nib. Let's give you a sideways view. Let's show you the feed underneath. Quite a, well yeah, quite a plain feed underneath, which is very common with this particular model. Lovely nib. As you can see, everything is nice and clean. Um, again, I've told you before in other videos, so you're interested, go and have a look. But these pens are what they term as plunger fillers, which means we simply unscrew the plunger like so. We pull out the plunger. And the pen, for you people that don't know, you actually insert the nib into the ink and then push down in one stroke that in turn creates a vacuum inside the pen which in turn takes ink into the barrel so these fill on a downward stroke only I'll be quiet and hopefully you can hear sort of a slight popping sound there we go once more okay which this popping sound tells us that everything is hunky-dory but 
again I know you people like to see him actually writing so I'm not going to fill it because again it's been totally cleaned in internally so I'm going to leave it to the customer he can put his favorite ink in there so what I'll do let me get some tissue again from the left let's dip the nib into the ink a little bit on the section so let's let's wipe that off and let's see how the pen writes so what we've got is a notto the the pen this model being the 5601 dash 28 Dating the pen, I don't know, maybe 1940s or something like that. Um, made by Thomas Delarue and Company Limited. It's actually writing very nicely. It's a lovely nib to write with. Does it have any flex? Wow. <laughs> I think the answer is simply, yes it does. Let's just dip it in once more just for the figure of eights because look at that very nice look at that it's got a lovely bit of flex to the nib which you do expect with these particular pens the anotto pens the nibs are absolutely absolutely lovely it writes nicely and as you can see it's got some flexibility in the nib so it's got a lovely variation in the line so let's just give the nib a wipe we'll give that a flush before it goes back to the customer let's pop the cap back on and i'm going to leave it at that if you're interested in this particular model or the anottos i've made lots of videos go and have a look at them and have a look at them particular pens but this one i just wanted to show you the sort of before and after as i say we we had to replace the pin new uh, plunger washer um, cork washers gave the pen a clean um, polished out the discoloration on the top the bottom and the section and as you can see it's now in lovely lovely condition let's show the end there okay you can see everything is nice and clean everything's in working order so I hope you enjoy your pen Jeff it's a lovely pen, look after it, I wish it was mine.